Hi everyone. Good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to this uh, another day here to make this balancing to our heart through the process of emotion. So I just hope that after working with this, I can unblock this that I have here. So um, remember that what we are meant to work with today is uh, opening our heart and to be coherent with what we feel within in our hearts. The most important thing that I wanted to share with you um, from what I was read, what I uh, wrote in the blog today in this conversation with my higher self is that uh, in order to to be aligned with with the information that we are going to work with today is that we have to recognize that we cannot blame or thanks to other people about how we feel because every emotion that we feel is just in ourselves is within ourselves so <clears throat> nothing that we really feel is uh, related to others is related to how we feel within so this is why what we have to do is to balance the heart which is the connection of that love and that emotion that we feel uh, with others so we could balance that instrument of ourselves so the main important thing that I guess it's a good way to understand why do we feel and how do we feel is we have to picture ourselves like if we are a guitar, an instrument, musical instrument, and imagine that the whole of the guitar is in your heart and all the emotions are the vibrations that represents the chords that cross this body through the main part. And then the chakras are these keys that um, fix the, the chords in order to sound properly. So everything that we feel, everything that, we, that resounds with us is according to how we are um, vibrating ourselves within, okay? So what we have to do to feel the proper emotion from the outside world, we have to try to adjust the chakras to, um, I don't know how to say in English, afinar. How do you say in English, afinar, someone knows? Um, to balance, align, I don't know the word in English. Um, so, wait, I'm asking. <laughs> Tune? Okay, tune. Okay, perfect. Thank you. To tune the chords, okay, so they can sound um, correctly. So this is our job. This is our work. We cannot blame others, blame or thank others for what we feel. What we have to do is to recognize that everything we feel from others is according to how we have tuned our emotions in this instrument that is this guitar, okay? The place where we are going to feel that is here, in this hole here, which is the hole of the guitar. And this is the place where everything will sound. So that's why we have to balance that. So someone asked me today, which place, um, which is the correct sense for the chakras to spin in order to balance the chakras as we tune up the, the, um, the chords, okay? So what we have to do is to, to see your right hand, hmm? your right hand like this, okay? The finger, this finger is pointing up, okay? So when this finger is pointing up and all the other fingers go into this uh, direction, yes, 
all the other fingers goes to, to this direction. So, okay, they move like this. So it means that the energy is going up when your fingers go to the left. Okay, so the energy moving to the left pushes the energy up and the energy going down is moving right. Okay, so in order to download the energy, the chakras must be spinning to the right and bringing the energy. Uh, with this hand, because this hand is the one that gives the energy, that moves the energy. It doesn't matter if you are um, left-handed or right-handed, okay? This one is the one that moves the energy because it's the positive one, okay? So it doesn't matter if you are left-handed or not. It's this one. So there's no correct place where it must spin. It doesn't matter. What matters is, is that they spin and that they are all aligned, all in balance. So they all spin into the same place, to the same direction. But this is just for another job. Um, now we are not specifically working with that right now. We are going to do it in another moment. So let's read the information for today. Today we are in the heart chakra within the second week, which is the emotional one, in the month, the first month, which is related to Leo, so the icon, the aspect of the icon. The vibration of the day we are going to work with today is he. It's not high, like you in English would read, is he. So uh, <clears throat> the reason why is he is because in the ancient languages of this region, uh, the sound ha means the life, the history, uh, everything, um, yeah, uh, life and history. And uh, the sound e uh, represents the balance, represents like a, yeah, like a balance which is in the middle of the heart and both hands balancing two aspects of ourselves. So this is why the statement for today is I am life in balance. The reason why the heart is the balance is because uh, it's in the center between the mind and the body, the, 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 the doing, okay, the action, and also in between the receiving and giving. So it's like in a cross. So the sign of the cross beyond the Christianism represents precisely that, the balance between what I feel, what I think, what I do, uh, what I receive and what I give, okay? The code uh, of today is the vibration A. Ah. It's not A, it's A. Ah. It means, letter A means, eternity is pierced by the second sound of the origin, the force of the spirit, the energy that sees everything, that knows everything, that generates everything. The A represents the skies, the I consciousness, who observes and guides the creation. Basically, this sound was related with the falcon, with the hawk, uh, the eagle, the, the bird that, that is watching everything, so they related that with the spirit. For sure, many of us come from a tradition that is Christian. For sure, there is a lot of um, weight and karma and judgment over this cross, um, over this symbol, uh, which is that thing. But I would like to make a new um, meaning to re resignify. It's okay, well said like that. To make to give a new meaning to that symbol, 
which was the, the first meaning, which was the, the core of the cross. It was not about the crucifixion. It was about this meaning. So it's good for all of us that maybe had a judgment over this symbol across the history <clears throat> to resignify, uh, to, to give a new meaning to that. So not, not the new meaning, the correct meaning that it had in the past, okay? Which was, remember, to be in balance with what you think, what you do, what you receive and what you give, which is what you are doing, basically. Okay, let's relax. Hmm? Take a moment to sit comfortable so we can start. Hmm? So I will put the music while you stretch, you start to yawn, to caress your body. Leave all the tension away. <sighs> Let's caress all the body. We close our eyes. Remember that this caresses and touching the body is to give thanks and honor the physical aspect of myself for taking care and being an anchor for the spirit to be here and now. I start to relax my body, letting the weight of my shoulders, my arms and hands fall down. Discharging all the tension through breathing. Take a deep breath. Hold and breathe out, leaving all the tension away. I focus just in my breathing. I go with the oxygen to my lungs, my heart, through the blood, towards the organs, muscles, and even the skin. take a moment to feel how this oxygen turns into energy within my body coming out through my skin try to think or feel how even each one of your cells is also breathing in and breathing out Be aware of this energy, this heat coming out of your body, feeling all your aura. Allow yourself to perceive a color in your aura. 
without thinking. And pay attention to the hottest part of your body. Recognize that the hottest part that you feel is where the most energy and emotions are stuck. Allow yourself to feel that emotion. Recognize it without judgment. I recognize all these emotions related to the biggest one, everything that is within me as sounds like words. Pay attention right now of all the emotions that I have felt today. Take a deep breath. I allow myself to feel everything that I have felt today without judgment. No judgment. I allow myself to feel each one of them. I take with my hands all this energy and emotions that are coming to me and bring it around my heart, around my chest and back. I recognize that this energy and emotion is the one that my higher self has chosen for me today to be the fuel to activate my heart, the engine of the only beat. As an instrument, I feel the chords, my emotions being played around my heart. Take a deep breath. I recognize that the need that is in my heart holds the potential of the unconditional love that connects and go through everything in existence. But in order to feel the unconditional love, 
I must balance and integrate every one of the emotions that has conditions. Take a moment to receive the image of all the situations and people with whom you have conditions in your love. Family, friends, lovers, partners. Be sincere. Take a deep breath. Observe the faces of these people. Leave your mind, bring their faces without thinking. Each face you see, but take a deep breath and be aware of this conditional love. I recognize that all my love is conditioning. Is filled with expectations. I recognize now that all these people that I am looking at are just in my imagination. Therefore, what I am feeling is just within me. Breathe in. In order to love unconditionally, I must leave all that I have within expand it into the outside, letting that condition to be free. What I feel is only mine, and it's only me, the one able to set that condition free. Take a deep breath and recognize the potential of the I am. I can be free. I can love freely. I am free. I can love unconditionally. I can be in balance. Breathe in. With your sound, start to make spin this wheel of energy and emotion around your heart. I 
keep pronouncing my vibration as I see and feel how this wheel of emotion and energy starts to spin faster and faster, irradiating light. being absorbed by the light of the heart. As I pronounce my vibration, I feel my heart expanding, swallowing this energy, absorbing this emotion. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, each time faster. Feel the expansion of your heart as you breathe faster and faster. Expanding the light of the heart towards every direction. And feel how it touches and surround each one of those persons that you love in each one of your own ways. Expand this to each one of the persons that are connected with you right now through all the network, feel the heartbeat of everyone. Siente el latido de todos. Recognize that each type of love is love. Recognize that each one of the pains that you have within can be transformed only by you, only by yourself. So I recognize I am the life in balance. I am the life in balance. I am the life in balance. Take your hands to your chest and from your heart, bring the love that you're feeling towards everyone that you know and everyone that is connected in the network. Expand your heart. Open your heart. Recognize that each emotion that you feel is part of love. And if I am able to be balanced in between each one of them, I myself become love. Take a moment to express, to tell to whisper all the words of love that you are willing to share with all those who are connected to your heart.
take my hands to my heart. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and recognize I can be love. I can love. I can be free. I can be my life in balance. I am the life in balance. I am love. I can love. I am life in balance. Everything that I feel is within me. And only me have the power to transform it. I am love. I am balance. I am life in balance. From my heart, I start to expand with my hands all this energy caressing my body. I bring all this love through caressing my whole body. put my arms around and hug myself hard, strong. I start to stretch and relax my body. Yawn. to lay down a moment to rest and if you feel um, dizzy or nauseous you just <clears throat> walk around and discharge the energy in the ground okay thank you everybody for being here, for connect every day, and to be connected. See you tomorrow at the same, same time for the plexus.